so these days very commonly they'll give you images in the exam and they'll ask you the pole of leprosy we know that there are five poles bt bb tt bl and ll and they'll give you the image and they'll ask you which pole of hansen's the picture represents so i have tried to explain that in this video because i used to find it very tough during my time in case you are wondering who i am you can give my insta a visit which is passionate underscore dermatologist so we'll first start with indeterminate leprosy so what you have in indeterminate leprosy is an ill-defined lesion firstly what is indeterminate leprosy indeterminate leprosy is one where the pole has not been decided yet so after a few months or days the leprosy can either progress into one of these poles or it can undergo a clinical resolution the patient will come to you with an ill-defined patch like this and it will be hypopigmented and it will be non-scaly the closest differential is p alba which has a scaly lesion and it is seen in uh, atopic dermatitis which is a topic for some other day but that is the closest differential in this case now tt hansen i'll help you remember it with a certain uh, correlation suppose uh, do you remember the kind of granulomas that we used to draw when we were kids the granulomas had in hp we used to draw the granulomas with necrotic material in the center and cells towards the periphery so we can remember tt hansen's like that tt has the best immunity there are going to be a lot of granulomas the immunity will be able to contain the bacteria into granulomas the immunity is really good here so likewise like you have multiple granulomas within this but you can use this use this image to remember it so like in the granulomas that you used to draw there is inflammation of the cells pulling up towards the periphery and there is necrotic depressed material towards the center like a saucer so it's it's a saucer right way appearance and because the immunity is good the number of lesions is very less so you see one to three lesions and obviously it will be asymmetrical so suppose you have one lesion it's, it's bound to be asymmetrical right nerve involvement hair involvement sweat involvement will be lesser in number but more severe in amount so suppose the immunity was not able to control the bacilli suppose there were individual bacilli going around and destroying cells it would have made little impact but the number of places impacted would have been more but in case we have big big granulomas the impact is more but the number of sites involved is lesser did you get my point if you didn't you can just put it in the comment and i'll go over again but bt hansen's now the immunity has decreased a little bit so some bacilli will spill over and they'll form a satellite nodule all right you still have a granuloma but it's a little well to ill defined granuloma so you you still see a granuloma but it's a well to ill defined granuloma uh, well defined at places ill defined at places with a satellite nodule and the saucer is still in the right way now we'll go to bb hansens the lesions number of lesions is 3 to 10 it has increased somewhat but it's not a lot and well to not well defined lesions now bb hansens you have swiss cheese appearance or you have punched out appearance swiss cheese is the cheese that we used to see in tom and jerry the one with so many holes in it so it's like somebody has punched out this area the center is usually as you can see well defined and the borders are ill defined so this is a feature well defined as tt and ill defined is bl pole or um, bt pole so it's it has features of both and it is very unstable it will progress to either the ll pole or the tt pole but what you'll see is central clearing and on the periphery you'll have this red red lesion so that is bb hansens now there's something called bl hansens what happens in bl hansens is basically the bacilli or the in the inflammation is not able to control the bacilli or something so the cells are not able to form a granuloma properly and the cells infiltrate towards the center so you'll see an inverted saucer appearance sort of and that is bl hansens the last one here is ll pole or ll hansens where you'll see a lot of nodules because bacilli are independently going all over the body so you'll see multiple bacilli which is symmetrically there okay so if you like the video we'll make more of them thank you for watching